What happens when you buy a tax lien? Welcome back. In this episode, I'll answer your question, what happens when you buy a tax lien? I'm Ted Thomas. I've been involved in tax lien certificates and tax deeds for over 30 years, or for the last 25 years, I should say. I've been teaching people how to do it, guiding them, sometimes I'm a coach, sometimes a mentor. This is an easy business to learn. You can learn it quickly. It's a very profitable business. It's quite lucrative, and most people don't know about it. So you're going to learn how to develop some skills and be able to do this yourself. In a short time, you can learn the process and you can do it online or you can do it offline. Before I finish this video, I'm going to tell you about at least two big mistakes that people make and they do that at auctions and I'll tell you how to avoid all that. I also have a free gift for you, which will come right at the very end of this particular session. I'll be right back. Millions of certificates are sold across the United States each year. Now this is a safe, and it's a secure and it's a predictable investment, okay? You don't buy anything from me, you invest directly with the government and you're gonna get checks back from the government. For example, a tax lien property on a $100,000 valued property is only going to be a few percent. What if you could purchase a tax lien certificate for just a few percent? Well, your risk would be very, very low. So $100,000 value and you paid $2,000. I would say that that's a pretty loan to value ratio if it was one. So new investors, don't worry about losing your money. You're gonna invest with the government, you're gonna get a check back from the government. Your money will go direct to the local government, not to Ted Thomas. Now in exchange for your money, the government's very happy. They want that money to pay their bills. I'll talk about that in a minute. For exchange for your money at a tax lien certificate auction, you're going to receive a tax lien certificate. Now that certificate, allows you to earn outrageously high interest rates. All right, so in Arizona, that could be 16%. Florida, it could be 18%. Iowa, 24%. You're getting the idea. All right, so wherever you buy, you'll know what the maximum rate is before you buy. But now you're buying the safest and the most lucrative investment in America. How can we say that? Well, it's easy because we invest with the local government and ultimately you get a check back from the local government. How do we know that? Well, county treasurers tell us that only a few percent of tax lien certificates go unpaid. 95 to 97% of the certificates will pay you all your money back in 24 months or less. So this is a perfect investment for the little guy. You can start it with $500, 5,000 or 50,000. Any number you want, there'll be tax defaulted properties and you could pay the taxes and you'll end up with a tax lien certificate. So if you worry about money, Stop worrying about it because you're going to give your money to the county. You're going to invest with the county. You're going to get a check back from the county. Now, there's thousands of counties that sell tax defaulted properties and tax liens. About 1,500 of the counties, the total of 3,000, out of the 3,000, 1,500 counties will sell tax lien certificates. That means you can buy directly from the county. So there's going to be something for everyone. Any size certificate you want, you'll have it. So this is a real win-win situation for everyone. First of all, the county needs money. So when you buy a tax certificate, the county is grateful they have the money to pay the county employees. You're grateful because they're gonna give you a certificate and that certificate allows you to own the property if the people don't pay the tax. Now, a tax lien is a very benevolent thing. Why do I say that? Because they don't throw the property owner off the property. In other words, when you buy a tax lien certificate, the property owner will still be in the property. They'll still be there. They're not kicked out. They're not evicted. Okay, you don't have possession. You have a tax lien certificate. Now, that immediate possession is a kind of a falsehood. You won't get immediate possession. What you'll get is you'll get a certificate, and when the time runs out and the people don't pay you, you'll get the property. But 95 to 97% of all these certificates, you're going to get all your money back. All right, now if you do get a certificate and they don't pay, they don't redeem, well then that means they're gonna default. And when they default, they default with the county and then what takes place is the county awards you the property. You'll go through a legal process, but they will award you the property without a mortgage, without a mortgage. So anytime a tax lien sale takes place, you'll own the property without a mortgage. How good is that? Especially when you only paid 
2 or 3%. All right, now let's discuss this money. Everybody's happy here. You're happy because you bought an investment that could earn 16, 18, or 24%. So you like that. The county likes that because now they have money not only to pay the county employees, but they can pay the fire department, they can pay the police department, they can pay for the build the schools and, and to hire school teachers. You're getting the idea. So everybody in the county is going to get paid because they collected all the revenue. Uh, you're happy because you bought an investment that's very low risk. And if you do get the, if you don't get paid, you get a property without a mortgage. And what about the property owner? Well, the property owner is pretty darn happy too. Why? Because they can stay in the property. They're not going to be evicted until the time is up on that certificate. That gives them time to recover from sickness, get a new job if they lost that they lost a job or to take care of the kids that might be sick in the hospital, whatever. I don't know what life crises they might have, but the point is everybody's happy with a tax lien certificate. Now, the penalties in a state where they sell tax deeds or tax defaulted property are severe and they're final because the county will confiscate the property, sell it at auction, and then when they sell at auction, they'll wipe out the mortgage and they'll evict anybody that's in the property. You're getting the idea. So tax lien certificates are very popular because they hate, they pay high rates of return. All right, so these rates are absolutely phenomenal. 16 all the way up to 36%, depending upon which state you do it. Now, some states, states will be penalty states. I'm not covering that on this particular video. Okay, but they're not selling tax liens. They're selling redeemable deeds. So here in the channel, you'll find things about redeemable deeds. So just look up Georgia and you'll be able to find those particular ones. Now, as I said, I'll be finished in a few minutes and I have some, some special things to give you. But first of all, I want you to know because you're here, but when you finish this, there's a free gift that will teach you not only about the profits and tax liens, but how to make money in tax deeds. Now that's called a safe haven, and you'll see a picture of it when I finish. All right, now, when I discovered this about 30 years ago, I found out that it was a very lucrative business and it was very low risk. Now the counties have been around selling these tax lien certificates for over 200 years. So for decades, they have been doing this. Well, I'd been a real estate investor and I changed. Why did I change to tax liens and deeds? because this business doesn't go roaring up with a big boom and come crashing down with a recession. It's about the same all the time. So there's always going to be tax lien certificates and tax defaulted properties. There's about 100,000 properties in the United States. About 2.5% or 2.5 million properties will have some kind of tax situation on them this year. So 2.5 million means plenty of business for you and I. All right, this allows you to be involved in a huge market that the rest of the world doesn't know about it. You won't hear brokers talk about it, you won't hear bankers talk about it, and you won't hear the attorneys talk about it. This is a business that you can do, and you can do it at a very low risk. So let's use an example so that you understand it more fully. So Mr. and Mrs. Property Owner, they go into default because unfortunately they had an accident and their car insurance didn't pay off on the accident. So now they didn't pay their property tax. So what's going to happen? Well, the county, if the tax is unpaid, if they're in a tax lien state, well, they're going to issue a tax lien. All right, what happens when they issue their tax lien? They not only issue it and tell you with many notices, and these notices are called notices of default. These are notices that will explain all the consequences of what's going to happen if they don't pay the tax. All right, so let's assume they didn't pay the tax, but the property comes up for auction. You'll know about it because they'll put it in the newspaper. They'll also put it on the website. So you'll know there's a tax certificate auction. Anybody can buy at that auction. So if you buy at that auction, you now get a certificate. You don't get the property. You do not get the property. The homeowners stay in the property. All right, now you have to wait until the certificate expires. That means it doesn't get paid. That could be a year, it could be two years. If you don't get paid, you will get the property without a mortgage. Okay, the county's gonna award you the property after it goes through a legal process, but you will get the property if you don't get paid. Now the counties tell us 95 to 97% of all the tax lien certificates they issue will pay off in 24 months. All right, so what took place here? 
you had a very easy investment because you invested the, the county, you're going to get your money back from the county in 97% of the cases. All right, so this is a passive investment. There's very little, very little work to do. What happened to the property owner? Well, not a lot. The property owner could stay in the property, and if they get their money together, they can come and pay you off anytime they want. They can pay you whatever the certificate was, plus whatever the interest was. What about the county? Well, the county did fine too, because they got the money from you, and now they have money to pay all the county bills, and that's exactly what they want. So anybody can do this. You can do it with $50, $500, $5,000. All right, now other people are gonna tell you about tax lien certificates. If you don't understand tax lien certificates, obviously when I finish here, I'll have a free gift. They'll tell you about the profits on tax liens, and it'll also tell you about the big money to be made on tax deeds. All right, so start there, and then from there, research at the county records. All of this will be published in the newspaper or at the county records. None of this is and none of this is hidden. So what have I covered today? The question was, what happens when you buy a tax lien certificate? Well, what happens is you have a passive investment that could earn you 16, 18, 24, up to 36% interest. You have a no work investment. That's pretty darn good. What happens at the county? They smile a lot because they've got money to pay all the county employees. Now, what happens to the homeowner? Well, you've done them a favor. You will allow them to stay in the property and given them time to straighten out their life, whether they were sick or whether they had a they had an accident or whether they abandoned it. I don't know what happened, but it gives them time to rectify, or as the law will say, to cure the problem. Tax lien owners do not get immediate possession of the property. Okay, so the clock is ticking. The property only has a limited time to pay. 97% of them will pay. If they don't pay, you get the property. They've been notified. They've had numerous notices of default issued. The consequences have been explained. That's called due process of law. There's no question. The county's been doing this for 200 years. It's a passive investment and you should get involved. Now, before I finish, I'm gonna answer a couple of questions. The question is, how will you know what you're buying? Well, that's really a good question because you shouldn't buy anything without knowing what you're buying. So the list of, of the properties will be online. It'll also be on the county website, and it also will be uh, in the newspaper. So the property number is given there. You can look up the property no number at the county and visit the property and look at it. That's the easiest way to know what you're buying. The question is, when do you get paid? You get paid when the county gets paid. So the people come in and pay their tax uh, on the 11th hour, all right, the county will take the money and they uh, will tell the people just stay in the property. They haven't left anyway. So stay in the property and the county then will notify you to send the tax lien certificate in. If you did it offline, if you did it online, they've already got it. And so then the county will pay you. So you'll get paid when the people pay their taxes. All right, so let me close this video out with a couple of things I want to mention. So below me, there's a safe haven course. It's a free gift from me to you. It costs you nothing. It'll give you the secrets of tax lien certificates. It'll tell you how to make profits in tax deed properties. This is a free gift. You can just download it. You can watch everything online. And you'll even see some case studies there. Uh, I have one final word, and that was... I promised to tell you about two problems at tax auction. And number one problem is people don't look at the property. Now, guys, you wouldn't marry the woman unless you looked at her. So the same thing with this real estate business. Don't buy a property unless you've looked at it. That's mistake number one. What could happen? Could be a hurricane, could be a flood, could be a fire. What if that property's next to a chicken farm? Is that what you want? You're going to be able to sell that? I don't think so. All right, so don't buy anything that you haven't had boots and eyes on the, on the property. Second big mistake is people buy tax defaulted property and they have no exit strategy in their mind. Well, how can you bid if you don't know what you can sell it for? So if you don't know your exit strategy, don't buy property. My name is Ted Thomas.